everybody welcome back it's super auto pets i played a little bit on stream today and i am not good at this weekly um you probably already knew that based on you having seen in all likelihood earlier videos this week because if you're hooked up to the fire hose of super auto pets content you're probably sticking around at this point while we're in between updates let me get how about a rude puppy you don't see that many. And even puppies are like... I don't know if this is controversial. Puppies are pretty cute. So even a rude puppy, it actually might be at that level of cuteness where rudeness would actually make it more cute. That's tough for me because I have a toddler and I know that I should be like instilling good habits into her. But kids, they don't know what they're talking about, you know? Sometimes, at least at that age. So sometimes she, what she means to say is like, I want to spend time with mommy. What she says is like, I don't like daddy. First time it happened, it cut me to the core. Then I remembered, you know, she's three years old. She doesn't know the, the full weight of what she's saying. Now it just makes me laugh. I'm like, obviously, I, I've, I've heard you say the same thing to mommy, so that can't possibly be true. But then if I laugh at her anger it just makes her angrier so it's a whole it's one of those interesting things about being a human being hi tomo hi buddy what is it man remember when people used to say like what is it timmy did timmy fall down the well those were the days man those were the days you know what i'll pop you down right here for now we'll, we'll take our level next turn tomo's been a little crazy lately he jumped on top of my computer tower a second ago. Like, he's, he's really taken, like, complete control of the desk-based area here. I think that he, he now... I used to think he was just begging for pets. I think what is actually happening is that he uh, sees me as a threat. He sees this as his territory. And he uh, is like, what are you still doing here, Get out. I take it almost as, like, a little bit of a... I, I, it's almost like a shot across the bow, if you will. Holy cow, we're holding. The game loves to make a liar out of me. I say I don't know what I'm doing this weekly, and so far, so good. We're doing great right now. I would take a level. I would take a toidle. Me when I'm uh, Shredder from the Ninja Turtles. I guess he's not really from the Ninja Turtles. It's kind of the opposite. He's trying to destroy the Ninja Turtles. But for what it's worth, I don't think it's, like, malicious. Well, that's not what I mean. It's obviously malicious. I don't think it's uniquely malicious to turtles. I don't think he has, like, a prejudiced hatred against the Ninja Turtles. I think that they are interrupting his uh, devious plans with the Foot Clan, and that is what is leading to that. So I'm not... No, 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 I'm not... In no way am I saying you gotta give Shredder a little bit of credit. No, no, no. I'm simply saying... Bad guy, for sure. Listen. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm not saying you gotta take Shredder's side. I almost got you, Tomo. I almost got you. Okay. I should have gone deer earlier. This is... We got blessed. Shark is really good this week. Um, but I, I feel like Stingray with the flashlight buff is also an interesting way to play. Shark is a little, I, there's two things. You might say like, if it's good, why don't you take it if you're suffering this week? Well, I've been taking shark a lot and it has not made a difference. <laughs> Hold. So there's partly that and partly that I think that like toy buffs are kind of interesting this week. Like the, the puppy is actually, if you get it early enough, is pretty good this week too, I think. Now, are we really buffing a turtle? Me personally, I feel like maybe you do this for now. I can't believe I just cans and rolls on that one. It's a little embarrassing. This is going to not be good. But at least we're getting the buff on the on the porcupine. I'm embarrassed. I had to check. Are you porcupine or are you hedgehog? Jason friendly abilities deal more damage. You know, this is uh, an avenue I've not considered this week. This is not good for our kangaroo. Uh, full stop. <laughs> but it's kind of interesting, maybe if we... 
can get the uh, mantis shrimp as well. Something to make it really pop. I don't know. We're, we're, we're flying a little blind here. I wouldn't dispute that in any stretch of the imagination. I'm realizing that we got, I don't know, like literally zero effect out of it. Um, because you were just one tapping all the units anyway. How about, a, how about a mantis shrimp? I can't believe what I'm doing here. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Leave me this. Sell me. Buy me. Roll me. We got tier sixes coming next time. If we get a mantis shrimp, anything could happen. As long as your version of anything is like largely, um, probably like a guaranteed loss. Yes. <laughs> Buy me. Mantis shrimp? No mantis shrimp. Okay, I think we had a good thing going and we've uh, we've screwed ourselves. That's not necessarily out of character. Um, in the slightest. What am I doing with this, man? You're not gonna get... <laughs> this is not the team you're looking for. This is very bad. We have no scaling, no spawning. Essential, okay, now we have literally no benefit to having the Wolverines on the team. I told you, I told you. And yet we still almost got a draw there. Uh, oh, return the menu. Hi, Tomo, can I put you on the screen for a second? Just so people don't think I'm talking to nobody. He did the, the cat thing where I tried to pick him up, and then as I was picking him up, he walked backwards, so I kept losing my ability. Run, Tomo. Da, na, 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 na. Mm, I'll be like an unwashed warrior. Doesn't describe me. I take a shower every morning. Sometimes a second shower later in the day if necessary. As the crow flies, I believe is the term. We go this and this. And you know what? Just, just ever so briefly, I'll take one of these. Why not? I am definitely, I know you're th probably thinking to yourself, NL, as a noted viewer, you were talking about um, every time Tomo gets petted by you on this rug, you hear sparks in your ear. What happened with that? It's still happening. <laughs> and it's a little bit driving me crazy. Feel a bit like Andy Bernard in the office right now. Doodly doodly doop. Doodly 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 doop. Um, but I'm just trying to overcome it. It is a little distracting, obviously. That's probably what I would blame for my poor performance so far. Wait a minute. They got their own ox? This hardly seems fair. Never mind, it's fair. Hold. Hold. How about... I actually think this week... My scampy runs have been better than my non-scampy runs. I'm not willing to put any any data on that. And as soon as I bought a scampy, we went from a win to a loss, but that is not that's that's a sample size of 1. That doesn't count. This time, learn from your mistakes. We take a deer. And two oxes for the future. I almost feel like w w there's there's tech, right? There's tech to the ox now. It single-handedly like it helps enable a mole to be even stronger. I think that's the tech. Don't quote me on that. Tomo, can I can I please pick you up, buddy? Like it's, I want the I want the people to see you every time easily. What's the word, you know, in anime when the person is like, stay away from me, but actually they're in love with you? That's what we got going on with Tomo. He's over here, like you can't, I need a Tomo camera. He's so shy on camera. Off camera, he's like, please pet me immediately. This is uh, the most I've ever wanted human affection in my entire life. On camera, he's like, no, you disgust me. You know what? 
We are done with the scampi. I appreciate what it's done for me up to this. Oh, double melons. Hold, hold, hold. We're actually going to 10. I believe that it could happen here. And I don't say that lightly because it has been a rough weekly. Give me flashlight. Um, I'm okay with it buffing a deer because it looks like we're sticking with it. And then hang on. Five, one, two, three, four. Oh, get sold next turn. And we're running the poodle and we've actually got a scaler. And I think that there's a chance. Kind of stinks that you broke my melon, but you know what? We got there regardless. Sorry, great Pepsi man. This is a Coke Zero household. You're getting sold, bought. And now we should buy scaling foods whenever we see them. But not a croissant for some reason. <laughs> Come on. Give me so oh, that's the ticket. And that looks like the kind of MFer who would say that's the ticket. Well, on, on video on stream, maybe. IRL, I'm not a, I'm not a big that's the ticket guy. Um, but I can't deny that I've said it. I mean, I literally said it seconds ago, if you recall. Always feels good to beat a shark team. Nothing like I'm not judging them on a personal level. I would be happy to run a shark myself, but... Okay, let me sell you. I appreciate, again, what the bird has done for me, but we're, we're working on a different sort of setup right now. I would happily go level two stegosaurus or level three poodle given the option bro we just overwrote your your garlic it's a disaster for you we're going i i don't even feel like we might as well turn the video off right now what's the point i'm going here the the 10 piece is if you'll forgive me for tempting fate, I feel like the 10 piece is guaranteed. There's nothing they can do to stop it. I mean, if a shark team can't beat us, then a lava girl doesn't stand a chance. Okay, this team actually is going to beat us. Shows what I know. But a guest! A guest with a, with a debaucherous name like that? Come on. Whatever happened to shame? We'll hold. Because we really want to see chocolate or a poodle. Chocolate. That's big. Do you have the chocolate in America known as Mr. Big? I always... Canada's weird. Because... And you heard it here first. Um, Canada's weird. Because we inherit a lot of our snack culture from the United States. But we also inherit a lot of our... Particularly our chocolate and candy culture from the United Kingdom. So sometimes you'll, as a Canadian, you'll mention like the most beloved candy bar in Canada and they'll be like, we don't have it in the United States of America. So I don't know. I don't know if you have a Mr. Big over there. Can, can you let me use my tomato? Me when I'm in the finals of uh, Chopped and someone uses a lifeline to take away my tomato and I'm making uh, linguine marinara. Me when I when you when we when. <laughs> okay, okay. Now I'll tell you, tell you I'd love. I was just gonna say I'd love to see a level two Stegosaurus pop out here. I still think we're going to ten easily. But the more I look at these teams, the more I'm like, that might be a little bit optimistic. <laughs> yeah. Not killing that one unit by one HP is, that's a, a kick in the teeth for sure. Huge. If, if anything could have made the difference, this is what would have made the difference right here. I still think we're going to 10. We're, our stats are going to be so maxed, bro. We're stats maxing. Worst tomato of all time. I never should have bought it. What's happening here? What's, what's going on with this secretary bird? Hold. Just hold. We're still holding. And we have held. Okay. Oh, I did. I forgot about the bus. Me when I'm naming methods of public transportation, and I already mentioned uh, the Sky Train and walking. Public transportation depends if there's people on the street to see you. I suppose could be private transportation. Okay, 
good stuff. We just run this. We go uh, tennis ball, and then we hold with one gold. Be an ordinary citizen. Nothing, nothing to see here. What a shot. Maybe we could win early this time and, and skip that fear phase where I'm like, uh, I guaranteed that we're going to win hypothetically and then like it all starts to fall apart and then I barely bring it back in time. Maybe we could skip that whole phase. What do you think? What if we just won a lot right now? Well, great idea. Unfortunately, they had like a 3-5 duck or a 2-5 duck, so that's going to be tough to work around, but we are on full HP. And we got a couple of levels. I love to see it. I like to see it. I think I'm going to go crazy on you, like heart, okay? We're going to run big porcupine. We're going to run a tamarind as well. You're going to come to the back here, and we'll, we'll stop you right there to save our money. Tamarind plus, like, puppy. For, like, food-based scaling. Sorry, I'm saying like a lot. I'm noticing that in myself right now. Um... That would be like a really good synergy for us to have because we could easily scale it then sell it into something that's a little bit more like useful. Give me a penguin. Go a little deeper on the magpie. Roll one more time. I'm upset. Um, we'll run this. Don't buff the penguin, you piece. Oh! Heat-seeking bird buff. Sounds like a Netflix original starring Sandra Bullock. It's okay. I'm not sweating it. We win these. Don't bird me. We skip that. We go puppy into lasagne. Into hold. Beautiful. Freeze the puppy. Another porcupine. I don't think we're blowing teams away right now, but I think we, we have a pretty good chance to just hold on. You love to see this? Oh, we love to see it. Now, the question becomes, do you take the, the sensible path and feed... I love this for me. I love this for me. Interesting. Do you take the sensible path and feed the lasagna to your porcupine, or do you go crazy mode and feed the lasagna? I'm going... This is crazy mode in and of itself. Um, or do you go crazy mode and feed the lasagna to the tamarind. It's an interesting idea. Now I'll tell you, I almost personally guarantee you I'm going to make an insane decision and feed chocolate to a bird that's gonna give us chocolate when we sell it. I don't have to, and I'm very grateful for that. We go lasagna once more. Feed the tamarind. Now I always forget when I sell you one better chocolate, it immediately levels you up. But it costs three. We should. We should. And then they really want us to get a hamster going here. But to be honest with you, I think I refuse. I think we go... Chicken kind of fits in with our overall plan. Which is to have, like, one really strong unit with good effects pop out of the shop. And we're still early. Like, just because we're on three life, don't get it twisted. <laughs> We shouldn't be doing as bad as we are. It's just that, you know, we're still in the early game here. We shouldn't, shouldn't be seeing like crazy stats or anything like that. We hold. We should be buying basically, come on, man. Should be buying like almost any permanent stats we could see. You can at least take this for now. And you know what, why not? So we're just distributing the lasagnas, you know, proactively here. I respect this. We can hold on this one. Big, big chungus, big chungus. What a name. Was big, big chungus, chungus taken? Did you take it, maybe? Better lasagna. Stock two free lasagnas, yes. I think we immediately sell you into the Stegosaurus. It seems to be like the dominant unit this week anyway. 
We're going to be replacing a lot of the squad and cans work with chickens, so why not? Now we got a 1419 Stegosaurus. I'm just thinking, like, you should go. You should probably get replaced with, like, a scorpion, man. Run a, scor run a scorpion in position two. Why position two? Because this will dodge mantis shrimp. Mantis shrimp won't exist yet, but at some point they will. And I think we'll be happy that we put that there. Because oftentimes I'll just forget about the next layer of strategy. <laughs> I, I, like, once I put a unit in a spot, it's like, that's often where it is uh, until the end of time. So, that's a level 3 shark. That's just, however you got that, you deserve it. I don't know if there was some malarkey going on. Um, we don't need to buff you, because you'll get buffed ex exactly. You got it exactly right here. Um, roll me. Can me for now. I'm not buying a dog yet, I'll tell you that much. I mean, I'm not buying meat. I would, I would roll for a, a superior situation. Maybe that's a bit of an insane play, but I personally think there's something to it. Now, do you buff a Stegosaurus or do you buff a Scorpion? I don't know. The Scorpion will continue to get buffed in theory because of the fact that we will be buying more scorpions as they show up in the shop and the shop is getting better over time. But this is a nice little force multiplier. Maybe we could get that going quick. And then level your stegosaurus. Buy a puppy, two free lasagnas. Let's, I, admittedly, we don't know if it's going to work yet, okay? But it's working better than you thought it was gonna work. You didn't think that, the, that this build stood any chance. And you may be right, because <laughs> I am on lethal. But that team was just really good, okay? I can't be held responsible for that team. We go lasagna, Scorp. Pancakes on you is not so bad. We're not going to worry about a Mosasaurus in all likelihood. Come on, don't lose it yet. Like, this, this team has legs. That's big. Oh, that's... It's big! Okay, hold, hold. <laughs> I think if we're being realistic, we know that the puppy's gotta go. Unless we get another puppy on this roll. Which we didn't. Um, you have to run something just a little bit better. I feel like the, the play is you sell the puppy, run a reasonably large turtle, and then you sort of, I mean, prey might not be the word that I would use, um, but you pray that the chicken gets the Stegosaurus buff so that the, it, it didn't, and then all of its health on the Mosasaurus got reduced. That's got a sting. And then the shuffle happened that caused us to lose. <laughs> no! I'm okay. This team can work, okay? You just gotta trust me. But we were cooking up something a little different there. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Upside a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you wanna see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!